If you're using OneNote to get your 2020 off on the right track, here are 10 tips and tricks that will get you using OneNote more effectively and for more different types of things. Everything in OneNote is organized into tabs or sections at the top and pages on the right. So you might create sections for the different projects that you have going in 2020. I'll call these Project Acadia and hit the plus sign here and create a tab for Project Yosemite. I'll probably be creating more of these sections in the future and reaching for the mouse over and over again is going to waste my time. So the keyboard shortcut for creating a new section is actually Control T as in tab. So if I press Control T, I can create a new section for Project Sequoia. In the same way, within Project Sequoia, as I'm working, let's say this is the project overview, look at where I have to go to add a page over on the right hand side. It only makes sense to memorize the keyboard shortcut Control N as in new page. And then I can do initial meetings within Project Sequoia. One of the most common things you're going to do in OneNote is type notes to yourself in the future. So let's say the project overview, we say something like the major elements of this project are as follows. And then I want to create a list at this point in the process. Again, if you're always making bulleted and numbered lists, these two shortcuts make a ton of sense. To make a bulleted list, press control period. To make a numbered list, press control slash. And that's it. One of the most common things that you're going to add to your notebooks after text is going to be things that you saw online. So let's say here I'm scrolling through some branding inspiration and I realize that one of these is really nice. I'm going to go ahead and click on it to bring it up large screen and then the fastest way to get this into OneNote is Windows key, Shift key, S. When I hit Win Shift S, you'll see that my screen darkens, and now I can draw a box around the thing that I'd like to clip. Now, returning back to OneNote, I can simply use Control V to paste what I clipped. When I'm working in OneNote, one of the things that happens is I'll have a plan for the next 5 or 10 or even 20 pages in my notebook. So here I have a project timeline, and I think to myself, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and lay out the timeline of the next few months. Now, if I wanted to create a page for January and then a page for February, I could continue to hit Control N on the keyboard, but then those pages wouldn't be connected to my overall timeline. What I'm going to use is something called a wiki link. I do this by putting in two square brackets on the keyboard there, and then I could put in January events and close the two square brackets. Now the January events text has turned into a hyperlink, and if you look at the right side of the screen, I have a page called January events as well. I can hit enter, put in two square brackets, and type in February events close the two square brackets, and it immediately creates a page for that as well. One of the really nice things I can do here is create the January and February events as subpages. By highlighting these pages, I can then right click and make them a subpage to the overall project timeline. So now if you think about it in an organized way, it's much easier to go from the master timeline to the individual events underneath the master timeline. Let's say you get emails from Jacqueline, from Phil, and from Abriel, all about the same project. It can be difficult to pull these three emails up in the future when we're talking about this project. But a really nice thing that we can do is click on any email within Outlook. Click on the Send a OneNote button up at the top of the screen and send it 
to the open elements. Notice here that I'm already on the current section Project Acadia. So if this email from Jacqueline is about Project Acadia, I can send this email directly to that location and click OK. Now by default, this creates a new page within OneNote. As you can see, it's called New Product Idea, and the contents of the email are on this page. But let's say that we turn this page into instead emails about this project. And after we get this email from Jacqueline, let's go back to our Outlook and include this email from Phil about our digital spend. I'll go ahead and forward it to OneNote by using the Send to OneNote button up at the top of the screen and send it not to the current section, but to the current page, emails about this project. Now when I click OK, the email from Phil is tacked onto the email from Jacqueline, meaning that two emails that are related to one another can be found in the same location. As you saw in the last exercise, when I sent Jacqueline's email with this attached Word file to OneNote, the attachment went along with it. And so if I go to the Insert tab at the top of the screen, it's actually very easy to continue to attach additional files that are related to the same information. So I can come in here and find my inventory depreciation file, for example, click Insert, and that file is now attached to this page of the OneNote notebook. And it's now available to me, not only here in OneNote for the desktop, but as this notebook synchronizes, it'll be available to me on mobile, it'll be available to me online, and everywhere else I could need to get access to the spreadsheet. Let's say I have a meeting about my project, and as part of that meeting, I get a couple of page PDF or maybe a slide deck. Besides being able to attach that slide deck or that PDF to the page that has the notes on it, we could also decide to directly print that file right onto this page, which will allow me to see the pages or the slides laid out in a way that I can draw on. I'm going to click on File Printout here, find a PDF, and what's happening here is Acrobat's print functionality is being used to print directly into my OneNote notebook. Now I have not only the printouts of the page, but as you can see, also an attachment of that PDF guide right there. Now I can click over here to the side and write some notes about this document, but I can also do one other thing while I'm here. I can right click on this image and I can tell this image that it should be set to the background. What's great about this is once it's the background of this page, I can now click anywhere at all on top of this and take notes right over the top of whatever it is I've got on that page because this is now a background image. Let's say that I have a really valuable page in my OneNote notebook, like this one, that has emails from a couple of different people, it has attachments, and that somebody needs all of this information. It's incredibly easy to go to the Home tab at the top of the screen, click on to Email Page, and send the full contents of the page, including all of the attachments, to the person in question. Notice here that both the spreadsheet and the Word file are now attached to this email, and the full body of the OneNote page is included here. I can now take all of this as text, and I can trim this up before it goes out. The surest way to share this with somebody else, though, is actually to share the OneNote notebook. It's easy to do. Simply go to the File tab at the top of the screen, and when you go to the Share option on the left-hand side, you can include other people to share with. However, it's very important to point out that if I share this notebook with someone else, they have access to Project Acadia, Project Yosemite, and Project Sequoia right now. It might be better if I create a notebook that I can share with others and have all the contents that's, that are relevant to that person. So for example, I might go to File, create a new notebook, and create a new notebook called Project Sequoia.
Then what I can quickly do is have open both the Project Sequoia notebook and the notebook I just created, the Project Planner 2020. And notice here that I really would like to take all the Project Sequoia information and copy it into the Project Sequoia notebook. I can right click on any page inside of OneNote and move or copy that page, but I can also right click on a tab and move or copy all of the contents of that section. So I'll right click on Project Sequoia here, choose move or copy, and then choose to send this to the Project Sequoia notebook and copy it over. Now there's a Project Sequoia tab with a project overview page and initial meetings page. And I can share this notebook, the Project Sequoia notebook, without being worried that somebody will have access to Project Acadia and Project Yosemite.